Hello everyone, and as always, welcome back to Strategy Gaming Dojo, where we find, learn, and play one more turn of the great strategy games. This is Gary Grigsby's War in the East 2. This is our Let's Play Against the Soviet AI, episode number 247. I am recording this one because we are going to be changing a lot of headquarters, working through that, looking at support units. Uh, not as much uh, combat this time, so I thought I would record this one. Put it up, get this all ready to go, uh, so we're a little closer to turning a turn. Some of the more ministerial things, and uh, I always feel like those are better to do on a recording. It's hard to do it on a live stream. Everybody wants a little bit of action, but uh, let's go ahead and get about it. And I'm going to start here. Now, we are eventually going to get up here into the Peskov area because we're going to have to redo a little bit of command up there. But for now, I'm going to start right back here and look at what we have sitting on this depot at Panavezis. Sure, okay. Well, we're going to grab Army Group North. There's Army Group North. There's Army Group North. And let's put Army Group North into Riga traditionally probably where it should be uh, let's put that into Riga and then we will come back and look at 18th Army and 2nd Panzer Army because we're going to really be redoing a lot of the commands this time now I want to get down into my armies in this section now we were pulling out of Smolensk and so this got all jumbled and mumbled and bumbled uh, we've sent enough back to the reserves where we really only need for the most part 4th Army and Ninth Army. Uh, and we want to put as much into those two as we can, because if you look at Ninth Army, well, you've got Walter Modal, who's probably the best general in the game. He's rocking a nine for morale, nine for infantry. So the more, and Ninth Army is in green. So the more we can put into Ninth Army, the better. Fourth Army. Okay, let's look at Fourth Army. Let's see the headquarters here. There's 53rd and 9th. Now, Rendelik is one of the very best generals you have. Eight morale, eight on the ground. But if we go back to his command, there's 4th Army. You've got Heinrike, who is also excellent. Uh, you know, so when you're talking modal, uh, you're talking about Heinrike, you're talking about Rendelik. It's some of the very best generals in the game. So we want to put as much into 4th and into the ninth as we can. Well, how do we get this going? How do we get it started? Well, let's find Rendelik because we're going to start right here, I believe. Let me just make sure that's true. Yeah, I, I want to see where I want to divide between 4th and 9th. What I'm going to do, I think, actually, is this. Let's take Rendelik, if I can find him again, 9th Corps, and let's put him right here, okay? And I'm also then going to put him in 9th Army. And if we go back and look at 9th Army, he's at 14 of 27. These are no longer assault armies, and so we've got plenty of room to put him in underneath Walter Modal, and we'll have the 9th Army operating right up here in this sector. So let's go around and look at 9th Corps and then 9th Army. So we're going to take 9th Corps, and we're going to put it in the 9th Army. All right, and done. Okay, so Rendelik's in that. We need to set his color to green just because, well, I want to make sure I remember. Um, kind of a mint green? Sure. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time figuring out exactly the colors we should have, but I just want to make sure, you know, green. Now, okay, now I know uh, that he's part of Ninth Army. So Rendelik is now green, and if we look at the units we have out here, what do we want to put under Rendelik? Well, we've got two units in town here. Well, let's look at the rest of Ninth Army. We've got Sixth Corps under Walt Weiss. Very good general. Again, eight and eight. Uh, and then we have Seventh Corps under the handsome Gustav Fenn. Not quite as good. Now, I'm not inclined to change Finn just because he, you know, we've got 51 APs. I know there are other changes I'm going to I'm going to want to make. And so we're going to hold on to these action points uh, for now. 51. Um, okay, so Rendelik is going to have this guy that goes back to 9th Corps. Okay. And then we want to make sure we've got like cores for every stack. 
So let's go and make that ninth core as well. All right, so now both of those guys are under Rendelik. He's only got six of nine, so we could add a little more to him. Um, we could put these, these two in, although that might be a little bit much, or we could put this guy in. Now, Rendelik, though, if you look, has got a unit all the way back here that's rebuilding. This does not need to be in ninth core, obviously. We can just attach that directly to Army Group Center because he's sitting here with Army Group Center and is looking to rebuild. So that is now in Army Group Center, and that frees up now Rendelix down to four of nine. We could give him both of these because we're coming along here for ninth army, and I think that's what we'll do. So let's go to ninth core here. All right, and ninth core here. So Rendelik is going to be defer, deter, or, uh, defending, boy, easy for me to say, uh, what is that, Glubco, the Glubco area, and that is now all in ninth area, and we can just take the depots off here for a second. You can see a little better. All right, that is all ninth core, ninth army. Now, we do have a free division. I say free, but... We'll see what we want to do with it. We have a division we could do something else with, move it somewhere. Um, but I'm not quite sure what we want to do with it yet. We have a couple of her uh, headquarters over here. We've got 35th Corps. This is under Von Noblesdorf, who is actually a uh, quite good general. Admin, not quite as good, but he's sevens all down the board. Usually, usually you have Von Noblesdorf uh, at the top of a Panzer Corps, but for this game so far, he's uh, doing infantry, but not for long. 12th Army, Ernst Highway to Hell, one of my favorite guys. Uh, he's going to move out. All right, so now you see the line where it's going to be. We've got the 9th Corps up here, and now we start with 4th Army, because if we go back and look here, where did 9th go? He's right there. He's now up to 20 of 27, but we may put more in there. We'll see. We'll see. 4th uh, Army. All right, let's start building out the 4th Army. This is a fairly strong division. It's going to be the only thing sitting here this time. This is a you know, one of the stronger divisions we have, we're going to be leaving that here this time. Then we have two weaker divisions, okay? So we've already given Rendelik to the ninth. Uh, this shows that it's in fourth army, but we could also put this in the ninth army. Weiss has got eight of nine, uh, but only two of nine for Gustav Finn. Well, that's okay. We want Finn to have the least, right? We can pretty much get rid of Second Army. Not completely, because when we get down here, we are going to need a few for Second Army, I believe. Uh, but for now, let's figure out which core headquarters we want. And it's 53rd and Kleeman. All right. So Kleeman is going to start getting some of these units. Now, we also have units out here that are part of Second Army that we're going to have to do something with. We've got a Corps headquarters back here, 27th. That's under Hartneck, 7567, not terrible. And so we will be using Hartneck. And let's move Hartneck a little bit forward just so I keep in mind. Now, he's already got these units up here, um, and maybe we keep it that way. Maybe we stick him right behind the line here and then also give him these two. So let's move Hartneck up there, the 27th course. So he has got, this is in 27th, this is in 27th, and now we're going to put these two into 27th core. All right, that one. And that one. Okay. So now we've got these guys all lined up. We still have this division up here that we can do something with, but we've got three full uh, groups out here and uh, three full divisions. All right, 53rd Corps. We've got Kleeman. Kleeman's good, 7667. That's pretty dang good. And we're going to move Kleeman down here. All right, so, you know, Rendelik. Uh, Hartneck and Kleeman. Rindelik, Hartneck, and Kleeman. Okay, so Kleeman is 53rd Corps. We're going to put all of these guys in 53rd Corps. 53rd Corps. 
53rd core. All right. And then finally, 53rd core. Okay. And then we're also going to take this division and put this in 53rd core. Awesome. Okay. So now you can see the build out of 4th Army. And maybe we should differentiate the colors just slightly with these guys so we can tell. Uh, 53rd Corps, I'm going to just make him a little darker. Dark enough. How about that? Set formation color. Okay, so now uh, we know Kleeman's quite dark. Uh, Rendelik. Oh, this, he's also got this. Oh, okay. So this guy already was in 53rd Corps. That's actually a good thing because I think we want to stack him right down here. I was thinking Kleeman might get a little overstacked. Oh, he is overstacked. Okay. So we've got this guy. Who else does he have? He's got a unit back here that's rebuilding. Well, we don't need that for this turn anyway. Let's put this directly in... Ninth Army. All right. So that's directly in Ninth Army now. Kleeman's down to 10 of 9. He's got the, the 2, 2, 2, and 2. And then he's got this division as well. Rendelik at 8 of 9. Hartneck at 8 of 9. And now Kleeman is 10 of 9. We may have to do that for a turn because I do want to come down here and start helping out to the south. And so the further we can get these units down here, the better. Now, this is not a particularly strong unit. He's got, you know, uh, armor here. What does he have? 6th Tank Corps and 30th Tank Corps. But we are sitting in the heavy woods. So that's a good thing. These guys are also in the heavy woods. They're in kind of a bad position. But see, if we've got this here, at least if they blow us out there, uh, we've got zone of control, and he'd have to go through heavy woods with tanks. So I, I think we're okay sitting right here with Kleeman for now and taking this unit and moving it down here into the swamp. So let's put that down in the swamp, all right? And we're going to take that out of the command of Kleeman here in a moment. All right, so now this is starting to clear up a little bit. We've got Rendelik there. While we're up here, let's go ahead and fix these commands. So Weiss has got eight of nine. Well, it doesn't need to be that way, you know, where he's got these on two separate hexes. He's got these two. Let's also make sure he's got these two. So one of them already was in it. Let's take the other one, and we'll put that in six core as well. And now all of his units are right here, again, going back to 9th Army. Then you've got these two over here. They're going to have to go, uh, let's put this up on the rail. These two are both going to go back to Gustav Fenn and 7th Corps. All right, so we'll go into 7th Corps. All right, so now he's got these two. Walt Weiss has got these guys. Rendelik has got these, and if we go back to Ninth Army, he's up to 22 of 27. Great. Uh, that also includes that division I just put in there. So really, we could have put a whole nother core in here, or we will put a whole nother core in here, because eventually we'll attach this to something up here after it rebuilds in Ninth Army. Okay, uh, moving around, continuing on here, uh, let's look and see what we have back here. We've got a Panzer Corps uh, with Vuthman, but this Panzer Corps is commanding infantry troops. Well, we don't want that necessarily. It doesn't really matter because of the name, but we may as well take this Panzer Corps. We're going to need another Panzer Corps to the north, and Vuthman is not a very good mech general, so we're going to want to replace him when we do that, and that's part of the reason that I'm holding on to points. What other corps headquarters do we have out here? We've got my guy, Theobald Lieb. He's a 7667. He currently only has two of nine. Where is the troop that he has? It's way over here. This guy. All right, so he's going to go back to Gustav Fenn, Seventh Corps. All right, so now that division uh, is under Gustav Fenn as well. They're both Seventh Corps. Let's make sure Fenn 
has all of the support units we like. He's got four artillery. He's got two flak, including a mixed flak. Pioneer construction warfare. Can we give him a stug? Is there one available? Or a machine gun battalion? Now, he's only got two divisions underneath him, so we don't want to get too crazy here. I would like to give him a little light flak, not the mixed flak, though. Eh, we're going to leave him as he is. He's got two divisions. I think that's okay for two divisions. Let's look at Walt Weiss, who has got a full complement. He's got only two howitzers. Let's give him the best TOE of the artillery we've got left. All right, and then let's go back. We've got a motorized mixed flak and a heavy flak. I would like to give him a light flak if we could, but we don't really have a good one. Okay. He's got two Pioneer, two Construction, and a Werfer. No Stugs, no Pons or Jaegers to give him. Too bad. Rendelik, what have you got, my friend? You've got, you need another artillery as well. Let's put that heavy cannon in there. How's he doing on the flak? He's got two motorized mixed flak. Again, would like a light flak. We need to bring some light flak out uh, when we go back and look at the reserves. That all looks fine. I'm also going to go back to 9th Army here. And I'm going to change his supply priority to zero and then change it back to two so that everything underneath him we're certain is now a two. Well, I freed up Theobald Lieb. He's got nothing. Then we have 10th Corps under Recknagel. Recknagel is even better. He's got an eight morale, not the greatest administrator, but he's got great morale. Who wouldn't follow this guy into the depths of hell uh, and seventh? on the infantry so we definitely want to use Recknagel and we'll bring him down here and put him into fourth army assuming we have enough left yeah and you can see Heinrike only has 18 of 27 so let's grab Recknagel where'd he go there he is okay and we'll just put him on this little town out here all right now he's going back to third panzer army no let's have him go back to fourth army all right now i said he's got two of nine he's got this unit already okay this one's in 53rd we could take that out because our guy cleman's already overstacked right all right, so how are we going to do this? Well, these two will need to go to Recknagel. Oh, by the way, let's make Recknagel blue of some sort. Uh, we've already done a lot of dark blue. I don't want it to be too much like Second Panzer Corps. Um... Is that good enough? Oh, okay good enough uh yeah okay that looks fine you can definitely tell the difference that's all i care about that's cleman yep okay so these guys are lighter these guys are lighter still kind of a purplish all right as we move down here so cleman's guys are here we've got the french they need to get the hell out of here or i want them to get the heck out of here uh this new unit that came on all right Let's just, for the moment, they would have seven here, seven there. Let's get them on the roadway. There's a roadway there. Let's put the French there just for a second. And let's take this unit and back it up one to double stack here. Okay. And then Recknagel's got his guys. These guys will all go into 10th Corps then. All right. Let's go 10th Corps. Let's go 10th Corps. All right, so those two are in, and then we'll take this, put that in 10th Corps, and put this in 10th Corps. Excellent. Okay, perfect. Uh, so now, 4th Army. We are going to start moving some of this stuff around. We don't need this all here. We've got two units that are rebuilding sitting on top of 9th. Are we in town? Moladekno. Sure we are. Uh, Vilnius, we have something rebuilding in Army Group Center. These are the Luftwaffe field divisions along with their core. We will eventually move these down here a little further south. Okay, so you can see 4th Army starting to shape up over here. We still have 9th Army up here. 
Um, we could stuff a little more, or we could have stuffed a little more in Ninth Army. Uh, 35th Corps. So now we have uh, Von Noblesdorf, who I think we want to keep. We're going to move him down here a little bit. And then Ernst Highway to Hell, who still has a unit that he's in command of. It's this one right here. I think we can also put this directly in Ninth Army for a turn as it tries to rebuild on top of this depot while stacked with Ninth Army. So let's go ahead and take this and we'll put that directly into Ninth Army. All right, so they're rebuilding. That also frees up Ernst Highway to Hell. I'm going to take Ernst Hell and we're going to put him back into the reserves. All right. See ya, Ernst. Have a good one, man. Uh, Theobald Lieb. Do we want to keep him out here? Maybe. We may need him, but I think we're actually going to use Von Noblesdorf as we get down into this area. We shall see. Um, okay, so now this is shaping up there a little bit. A little bit. I don't want to get carried away. Um uh, We've got the French that's down here on the Sturm Battalion. We've got the 250th Blue and the Field Division. Now, these guys are all underneath 5th Corps. 5th Corps, 7657 under block. I mean, I've seen better. I've seen worse. 5th uh, Corps, could it go into 4th Army? Well, let's find out. Uh, where did you run off to? Fourth Army. No, he's got 26 of 27. But now you see Second Army essentially has nothing. Um, I say essentially, he does have nothing. Ninth Army's up to 24. He's stacked with these guys. That's great. Uh, 35th Corps von Noblesdorf we're probably going to need. As a matter of fact, let's look at von Noblesdorf. 7757 block is... 7657. Ah, close enough. We're not going to argue over that. Um, this little French infantry. Well, let's see what we have down here. We've also got 8th Corps under Hans Hube, another one of the great generals in this game. Now, he has got 8 of 9, but he's got this Panzer Division. We're going to take that Panzer Division away from him. Uh, momentarily, momentarily. All right, so we're in the positions I want to be in. French stacked here with that group. These two stacked together. Not the strongest thing you've ever seen. Block is here. He's now going to go into Second Army. So he goes directly into Second Army. Second Army is here. And it's going to actually move. Let's put, yep, nope. That's not what we wanted to do. He's got these guys. That's perfect. Let's do him into second army. All right. Oh, I already did that. All right. Let's set a new color just so it's a pinkish type color or purplish type color. Uh, since that's second army's jazz, man. Um, sure. Good enough. Set formation color. All right. So these guys are now pink. We know they're in second army. Uh, and Block is right behind them here. He could even potentially go into Minsk. We'll see. Um, second army. That's what I was up to. He's only got 7 of 27 for now, but that's not going to last because we're going to take Hans Hube here. He's in third panzer army, which really makes no sense. We'll put him in second army. Okay. So now Hubei will change his color to kind of a pinkish purplish or something. Make it a little light so we know what the hell we're dealing with. It's fine. Set formation color. All right. So now uh, Hubei is kind of purplish, pinkish. That's all second army. Fourth army's in blue. Uh, ninth army's in green. And we, you're starting to see a little bit more how the line could potentially set up. So we back these guys up. They're going to need to be building, of course. We've either got them in heavy woods or swamp most of the way around here. Uh, let's make sure Hubei has the support units he needs. That all looks great. You can't have much more than that. All right. Also, I'm going to take second army, set supply priority to zero. 
and back to two just to make sure everything underneath it is good. We'll do the same with Heinrique in fourth. Let's go zero and let's go two. Okay, what else is here? Third Panzer Army. We are eventually going to use that. For now, I'm going to set it right there. Get it out of the way. These two rebuilding. Uh, Von Nobelsdorf is an extra core. Fourth Army is here. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, this is the other guy here. Uh, 20th Corps. Theobald Lee. The other guy. This is Theobald Lee, folks. We can't just uh, leave him with, with no more moniker than the other guy. We're going to leave him right here and wait until we get more divisions out here. Um, hold on. Back that up. Back that up. I've got an idea, actually. On the rail, we're going to put Theobald Lieb up here. Um, he's a good general. We need a good general up here. We could put him under 16th, potentially. Well, that's got 29 of 27. What about 18th? 18th is here. 23 of 27. Okay, well, it's not like... I want to keep Von Noblesdorf here. So let's take Lieb all the way around. Um, we could get off the train there. We could get off the train back here. Let's bring him into Volga. Okay, he's going to go there, and we'll set him up to be part of 18th Army. All right, get him a purplish type color. blue actually an 18th I'm sure fine let's try to spend as little time picking out our home decor as possible uh, okay now the next thing I want to do is we have to deal with this unit obviously um, and I want to move get off the train move I want to move this unit up into this hex now he's not going to be able to attack this turn we could put him actually in town but I would rather go here so we don't get anything coming around behind us. So let's scoot this up. Now he's way, his command's way back here, but we're going to do something about that, I hope. Uh, let's go here with that, all right? And let's move this infantry up one. He'll still have six points. Awesome, okay? Now let's go find that Panzer Corps. I know there's a Corps up here. Where did I just see that? Uh, with the bad general. Um, Vuthman. Yep, this is it. All right. Let's dismiss him and go find a good Panzer general. Okay. Well, we could, you know, give somebody this command, but usually you're going to be able to find somebody that's free that's got, let's say, a, oh, this guy's awesome. Uh, Hase. Um, he gets a seven mech, eight morale. That's perfect. So we're going to put Hase in in this Panzer Corps. All right. And Heim takes care of the, takes command of the Fourth Corps. Okay. Well, whatever. Uh, as Hase comes out here. Uh, now then, let's move this Corps headquarters around this way down the road. All right. He doesn't have anybody underneath him for now. But that's going to change. He is going to take this unit and this unit. But let's look at 2nd Panzer. So 2nd, where the heck is 2nd Panzer? Where did you run off to, Hans Guderian? There he is. He is still an assault army. We're going to take that off. He's got 20 of 27 in command. So he could get these guys underneath him. Or we could just use 3rd Panzer Army. And I think we're going to start trying to build out a little bit of 3rd Panzer. Who is this? Olib. Uh, He's horrible. He's 22 points to replace, though. And let's go look for another decent mech general. 
Now, what we could always do is still put this under second panzer and see if we can get down here and get him in command. And maybe that's what we'll do instead of spending all these points uh, if I can't find somebody that I'm really excited about putting up here. Now, we could promote somebody or we could have, yeah, like, uh, well, Von Weeks we could put in here. He's a seven on the mech. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, five on the mech. Hold on. Let me go back here. Make sure I didn't look at the wrong number. Oh my gosh, I did. I put the three mech in here. Well, now he's dismissed. Uh, that's too bad because Hase is actually a good infantry general. Uh, my mistake. I got in a little bit of a hurry there. Okay, well, let's think about this for a second. Fifth Corps, gosh darn it, he could actually be a mech general and I could make this an infantry general, but I think I changed these commands uh, too quick, well I say too quickly, uh, that's what we were up to. That's still in 10th Corps, did these guys flip though? No, they didn't. Um, ah, shoot, I wish I wouldn't have done that. He's actually a better general for the infantry. We've got a machine gun, pioneer, stug. Eh, it may cost us a few points here. I don't really want to replace him now. Uh, but I also don't want to say uh, Panzer Corps. It drives me nuts. He's a good infantry general, you know, pretty good anyway. I'm going to keep him the same. Um, and I guess we're just going to have to go replace here. All right, well, we wasted a few points. Uh, 12. Do we want to give somebody a promotion? There's a 7 Mac Von Sanger. We've got Breath that's a 7. 7. I thought I saw somebody better than that out here when I was looking earlier. But maybe I was looking at the infantry score. Uh... Von Monstein and Bulk. We've got both of them in. Brandenburg's the head of a mountain corps for some reason, but he's a hell of a mech general. Maybe we bring Brandenburger in here. Uh, seven. Oh! He's head of the Africa Corps. Screw that. Uh, let's bring in Target Air. Airline Air! Okay, he's a really nice panzer general, right? Okay, so now... We, again, we wasted a few points there, but that, it all turned out okay since I caught it. Uh, now we're going to put him in 3rd Panzer, and we're going to have to replace or 2nd Panzer. How far can we get him down here with this still in command? This is now at 9 of 15. Okay. Guderian, who has 20 of 27... I mean, you want everybody under Guderian you can get. Let's move him to this town. What is this now? 13 of 15. All right, he's in command. And now this guy can go back to Guderian. I think that'll be in command. I could count him. I'm going to roll the dice. Second Panzer Army. And sure enough, he's 15 of 15. Perfect. All right, so these guys can now be in command if we put them in there. This is 39th Panzer Corps, so you're going to go into 39th Panzer Corps. And this Panzer Division is going to go into 39th Panzer Corps. All right, so now we've got a new Panzer Corps out here. But uh, let's look at this, see his, make sure he's got what he needs. That all looks good. Let's also look at this. This goes back to Hubei. That's good. Hubei has only got six of nine. We can put more in under Hubei if we want to. Uh, for instance, we could put that in there. Or is there anything down here that's not Hubei? I mean, obviously the Hungarians. But this unit's Hubei. This unit's Hubei. He is, but this is a field division. We really kind of want to get this out of here if we can, but they're starting to get a little constricted. The field division can't get very far out of here. Neither can the Hungarians. Okay, well, maybe we can take care of that in a minute. Um, Hubei's 8th Corps. Well, we want as much under him as we can get. He's 7 of 9 now. 
Let's put this in eighth core. All right, so Hubei now has that. All right, so you can see Hubei's guys. And we're going to go ahead. I'm going to take this infantry and the Panzer Division and attack this tank core. And let's see what happens. Perfect. That worked out really well. We lost one tank, one gun, 68 men, and three planes. The Soviets lost 33, 39, 50, 54 AFVs to one, and 153 planes. Well, excellent. All right. So that looks good. And then this headquarters, I could put the Panzer Corps directly in here with the Panzer got this he's now only on five of nine as we rebuild a few things i probably want to move him over here anyway fifth core fifth core we could stack like there yeah because he's 10 to 9 that works can you go into fifth core sturm you sure can and now it's all lined up okay so we've got like commands there We've got light commands there. Now, the field divisions, as I get them out of here, I'll put them under this command. But for this turn anyway, where I'm just stacking for men. Now, this move into here kind of blocks him coming straight for men's this way. This guy is in a little precarious position, but I want to start moving these, you know, attacking here anyway. So I think this is all okay. We've got fourth army. We've got von Noblesdorf. I'll actually stop stack von Noblesdorf with second army here so we make sure that we've got that you know we know what we're doing we've got third panzer army which is extra we've got fourth army that can eventually move into town here uh, as it is i'm just going to leave him right here for now back here we have a division building with army group center now i could put fourth army here and put him in fourth army but i want this to be a super depot out of vilnius Actually, I should make this a super depot, probably, since he's closer. Uh, I didn't want it to be here, but we could make it here. This division, can it get to Vilnius? It can. All right, so let's make this, you know, Vilnius is already going to get plenty of supply to pass on. So let's make this one the super depot, and let's take... This unit couldn't get there. He can't get all the way back there. Let's take this unit and put it back here to rebuild there. Okay. Uh, I think I already changed his command. Oh, well. Um, now we've got this and this. Let's move this in to make it the super depot. We've got 4th Army that we'll eventually put into town. We've got 35th and 2nd Army here. These guys are all good. So I think we got this all straightened out now, at least in this sector. Okay. Let's go around and check. Gustav Fenn, you've got your support units. Everybody's in command. That's good. Walt Weiss, you've got your support units. Everybody's in here. That's all good. Rendelik. Rendelik looks good. Of course, I would like more support units. Let's just make sure he can't get a Stug or something. Uh, you know what? Let's put the machine guns in with him. Heavy howitzer, light flak. I mean, some of this is really wrecked, right? Uh, I guess we'll just leave it just like that. Um, 27th Corps is all right. Let's see what 4th Army has up here. Eh, I think he's okay. But everybody's in command there. Everybody's in command under Kleeman. And as these guys come back, we may double stack here, but we'll move these guys here and keep moving 2nd Army into the Minsk area. Uh, and they're going to be the defenders of Minsk along with this Panzer Corps. Uh, and as you see, we're still at only 22 of 27 with Guderian. So that works. Now, eventually, I think all of 2nd Panzer Army will be up here. And I'll have to move Guderian. And then we'll just have to change the command on 3rd Panzer. And we'll put this corps into 3rd Panzer Army uh, and start to reconstitute that. These all look fine. I'm not going to attack with this guy. We're getting level 2 forts here. Of course, I want to get infantry into this hex. But for now, with this moving up, and this guy moved up, we'll see what this mech does. Uh, but I want to make sure... Uh, let's actually directly attach some... some things to this Panzer Division sitting in Minsk. Uh, mixed flak. Let's put a Stug with him. 
and a machine gun battalion. All right, now he's got three. Those will be automatically committed uh, if they come into town there. All right, I'm going to start trying to do that more and more where we have fort levels since you get a bonus for that as well. These guys are, you know, they're getting past, but I think we'll eventually be able to, you know, getting these three divisions out is going to be important. We've got everything centered right here that is extra or we may want to do something else with, including these little field divisions to get down here. Uh, we've got divisions rebuilding. Next time, hopefully, we'll have one, two, three brand new divisions we can put out on the line somewhere, maybe out in this area, and we can keep trying to scoot this way so the motorized can keep trying to get up to Peskov because I've got the suspicion we're going to have to take Peskov back over. We've got a Stug in there. Can they get any? What else can they get? I'm going to try to give... No, nothing. Okay, well... I was going to say nothing's better than something. I, I don't think that's right. Uh, mixed flak. Okay, so we've got three support units in there that should get committed. As we build fort levels, I'll directly attach things down into divisions more. These guys come around. Second Army scoots all into the Minsk area. Hungarians can come out over here, okay? Uh, the Luftwaffe Field Division, he's about to get run over. He is in the heavy woods. I'm just going to leave him there. Uh, he may get blown out. Eventually, I'm hoping the Hungarians and maybe even some German infantry will get in here. As far as our uh, replacements, I think for the most part, these all have to head up to the north, um, up past Riga or in at Riga, into this sector so we can start dropping infantry here so we can you know, stack with our panzers, stack with our motorized. So let's just go ahead and take these two north. Um, let's put them on the train. Yeah, I need things in the south and the center as well, but I really think uh, we have to come up into this sector. I, I, I kind of think we don't have a choice at this point. Um, we've got this new core that I have out here. I may maybe took Theobald Lieb a little too far north, uh, but for now I'm going to leave him there. Let's go back and grab these two together. I'll just double grab them and we'll go to Riga with these two. Okay. I'm just going to bring them both to Riga. So they're both there. They can't get off the train. They don't have enough MP. Uh, but because of that, let's actually, since they can't get off the train this time anyway, let's go ahead and bring them up into here or here. Um, I think we should be able to withstand that, but I'm not 100% certain. So I'm going to put them right here. So they go a little further, uh, but next time they hopefully can run up to this line and we can do something else. But right in front of Riga, I think is the right way to go with those guys. Okay, uh, out here, I don't think there's a whole lot to do. We've got a secondary rail, repairing rail. What does the rail situation look like out here? Uh, okay, um, we need, you know, some of this repaired eventually. Some of this back here. We've got a super depot set up out here with the one rail I have in this area. So that's an FBD, two rebuilders, second panzer, 18th army. I'm going to come back to this before we turn the turn. We've got army group north. Should probably move an FBD up here eventually to make a super depot out here, maybe like here or here. For now, we're just trying to hold on. We don't really know where that line's going to end up. Uh, like I said, I mean, they're, they're, he's probably going to get blown out, but they'll have to use movement points to do it. Or, you know, he's pushing now again on Brest-Litovsk. Uh, 6774 for this guy. Let's go back to move mode. 68. This is 70. Yeah. This in the south, as we move into the south here, I really think I should work backwards on the south as well oh we did get this new kim Far detachment army uh okay great he's even out of he's even out of command for okh we're gonna have to put him under something else uh can you put him under something else yeah you, well interesting 
Okay, we'll probably put him under... Army Group B is getting stacked up. What's the one that's down? I think this is Army Group B that's down here, right? Um, where are you? Here? No. Sixth Army. Oh, it's right here. Army Group B. All right, he's 99 of 108. This is another FBD is here as well. So this Kempf, uh wow, he can move a long ways. You know, he's going to come all the way back to this town. I'm trying not to, you know, have anything in Sevastopol. So let's bring this guy all the way back here. And so we'll have a German command. Who is it? It's Herzog. Okay, he's a decent infantry general. Decent. We'll work out all of, or I'm going to work out all of these commands again, and we'll put everything under this Kempf instead of Antonescu. He'll be the Crimean general. Um, and then all the Romanians over here will be under Antonescu. But we'll do that next time. I just wanted to get all of this sorted, uh, do a upload, have all of this sorted for us next time. We've now got 4th Army in this sector, 9th Army here, Second Army will protect Minsk, we hope. Uh, we'll be bringing more into 18th Army. He's 23 of 27. He could take another couple of divisions. Um, unfortunately, 16th Army is a little overburdened, but bringing our guy Theobald Lieb in here, we're going to work out some of these. We may have to wait a turn, so we may be a little overburdened on one of those cores. Uh, then, you know, tomorrow when we live stream, we're going to go all the way down the south. You know, we're looking okay because we have fort levels, but we need all the infantry we can get down here, obviously. And the stuff that's sitting at Warsaw, I think almost all of this is going to go down here. We may take the Panzer and push it north and give that to Guderian as well as we try. Peskov is what I'm afraid we may lose. Uh, that's my number one priority. So the Peskov area, I'm trying to get as much up there as I can. All right, it was a little double bonus today. We did a live stream. Now we're doing an upload. Uh, what content? Look out. All right, guys, uh, have a good one. Have a good uh, Saturday night. I'll see you tomorrow. That'll be Sunday, 10 a.m. Pacific, uh, Strategy Gaming Dojo. Till next time. Have a